today from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. the New York Giants taking on the Memphis Egyptians. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store between the Memphis Egyptians taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in playing some decent football, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over 100 yards and the three touchdowns. And for an old coot like me, I loved it because he did it on the ground. A running back taking control of the game. That's what I like to hold see. Hold on, hold on. An old coot? Coot. C-O-O-T. All right, I'll look that up later. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. From the 43, here's a second down and nine. On play action, they'll throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Rakia Sin. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And, Charles, you look at these two teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're in them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right, you love having easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shock of playoff football. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Give him six yards in the first down. 
This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Now second and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flushed out right. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 36 yards on the play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Ball at the 9 on second and 8. They'll look to throw here. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown. Jaden Reed, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Egyptians are an extra point away from evening this one up. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown to interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Carlson's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The former number six overall Giants offense. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Oh, man, what, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. He had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. But you look at this defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the Pats. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes. See and got his man complete. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 41 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing Jones. That's complete over the middle to Stewart. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Second down and eight. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Touchdown, Giants! Saquon Barkley from 13 yards out. And the Giants have taken the lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. 
14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. This taken in right around the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Right back to him on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Donald had a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll set up a throw. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Second and 14. Now they go screen. It's complete. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multi-tap. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. And I don't think this has... So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
Now a second and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Quick hitter to Jalen Waddle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a play fake here on first down, eluding the pressure right. Throw took him a little too far at second down. They'll look to throw again. Being chased out left. And I think the ball's out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Jones now. A final shot before break. Going deep here for Watkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached half. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now third down and seven. Looking to throw, Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before the game working right now. Back to throw, Jones. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Now Jones on first and 10. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Off play action, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Back to four. She's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And they're going to speed things up here. They go play action here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Third quarter from MetLife Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Flush to his right. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 33. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants' territory now. First and 10, down at the 33. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Aziz Ojulari in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. Open net is Waddle complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 16. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. He will push his way down to about the 14. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's second and eight. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Egyptians have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game and find some way to get the ball back. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Jones throw complete here to Waller. And he's knocked to the turf right there at the 46-yard line. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. 
Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and 10 here. Hodgins in motion. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Again, it's Barkley. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. And he is caught. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. We just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Barkley will score. Touchdown, New York. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Well, for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28 14. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 53 remaining. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I've met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Reed. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. They're going to look to throw. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. They'll set up to throw. Steps away to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted so for the Giants the final three weeks are going to tell the story as they move to nine and five on the year and they will hit the road next week Meanwhile, for Memphis, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field advantage. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.